Hello and welcome to Health Talk. I'm Dr. Manny. Timing is everything. You know that. But what if I told you there's a right time during the day to get a flu shot or even have sex? And it's all based on your chronotype. Interesting, right? My guest today is Dr. Michael Bruce. He's the author of Power of When. That's Power right. of When. I like that title. <laughs> all right. So tell me what a chronotype is. Sure. So a chronotype is a classification of your genetic preference for sleeping time. And we've heard this word uh, before, but people might not recognize it. So if anybody out there has ever heard of an early bird or a night owl, those are chronotypes. Right. And it turns out that there's more than just two. And I was able to not only discover that, but then create an online quiz that people can take to figure out what their chronotype is actually quite simply. So the chronotype is the characteristic that you have when you you can feel comfortable going to bed and then when you are kind of awake exactly and how you function when you're awake exactly that's that's the whole thing that absolutely and is that set in time in other words if uh, uh, am i born a certain <laughs> chronotype or do i change as i age so excellent question and so it's genetically predetermined by based on the per3 gene but we know that children is specifically at certain ages are actually certain chronotypes so when they're itty bitties like infants with they're what i call a lion so they're early early wake up um, and then, you know, they may nap throughout the day. And then once you move to something like adolescence or where age my children are, 13 and 14, they're w what I call are, they're wolves. They want to stay up until midnight and they want to sleep until two. But once you hit about 18, your chronotype really sets up. And again, there's one of four of those. And then once you hit the age, probably 55 or 60, as you see melatonin begin to deplete, people have a tendency to move into being more early birds once again. All right. So and very interesting stuff. All right. So you say that there are four types of chronotype. Let's go quickly over the four of them. Absolutely. So the first one is the lion. These are people that have a tendency to be the COOs of the company. They're the ones who are the organizers, the leaders. They like to go from point A to point B to point C. They get up early around 530. They like to go to bed early around 830, 9 o'clock. In the middle are my bears. My bears make up roughly 55% of the population. That's what society has really been working around. And these are my extroverts. They're the fun people you like to hang out with from a personality standpoint. They wake up around 7.30 or so, like to go to bed around 10.30 or so. A lot of times they're the life of the party. My evening types are wolves. I happen to be a wolf and um, I like to stay up until midnight. I don't need a tremendous amount of sleep. I only need about six and a half hours, so I wake up at 6.30. But characteristically, my wolves will stay up until midnight, one o'clock and want to sleep until eight or nine. Sometimes their bosses don't like that. But these are my creative people, my artists, my authors, my actors, uh, people who really have a lot to contribute on the creative side. And then my problem sleepers are what I call my dolphins. And I use dolphins as a representation because dolphins in the animal kingdom only sleep with half of their brain at a time. And I thought that was a great representation of my insomnia types of patients. Once I know what, what I am, right. then through the power of when, your book that you go into it, then you could execute more efficient more efficiently your wake time exactly so there's a quiz that people can take if they just go to the power of when quiz.com it's completely free you figure out what your chronotype is then within the book I've discovered ways to understand what your hormone structure is and so when I know when your cortisol is high or your melatonin is low or things like that I match those up with certain activities that you want to do during the day everything from have sex to eat a cheeseburger to run a mile we actually know there's a good time in which to do that as a clinician that you are, and you're one of the leading authorities on sleep disorders in the country, can you use the chronotype um, if there's an alteration in my chronotype? Let's right. say I'm 59 years old. Mm -hmm. um, I was tested as a bear when I took your quiz. Uh, but somehow now, let's say a year and a half from that, sure. I my chronotype doesn't fit the profile of a bear. Right. Does it, is, is it a, is something as a tool that you use to say, okay, something's wrong with Manny. Mm -hmm. Maybe he has a hormonal imbalance. Maybe Absolutely. he has uh, underlying uh, stress that needs a little bit of psychotherapy or talk therapy, or is it metabolic? Maybe he's diabetic or something like that. Exactly. And that's one of the ways that I'm utilizing this in my practice. And this all actually spawned from my practice. I had a patient who I was using my traditional insomnia type therapies and they weren't working. She said, it's not that I have a hard time 
time falling asleep or staying asleep. She said, I go to sleep at the wrong time. So I said, well, let's run the experiment. I asked her boss if she could come in maybe an hour or two later in the day to see if she would become more productive. And sure enough, not only was she more productive with her work product, got along better, wasn't falling asleep at meetings, but when she came home, her spouse and her got along better, her and her children got along better. Once everybody knew what her chronotype was, right. it worked out really well. Um, could that also be an indicator of some type of, of a physical problem? Absolutely. Things like anything that could potentially change your chronotype or definitely any type of cancer, any type of diabetes, anything that could disrupt the sleep cycle or disrupt melatonin production. Right. Because I, I think, that, you know, I think the, the far more important aspect of your book, which is based on science, yep. is that um, the, 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 the pattern of your awake state and your sleep state, once you identify it, lends itself to be a clinical tool which is, has a lot of value. Absolutely. Um, all right. Where, the, the name of the book is The Power of When. I love the title. Thank you. Where can people get more information? For more information, they, just, they can go to thepowerofwhen.com or if they want to take the quiz, thepowerofwhenquiz.com. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. And if you have any health questions, tweet me at Dr. Manny on Fox. Until next time, I'm Dr. Manny.